Hello once again. We're on number 15 in the writings of John Chrysostom on living simply. So, <clears throat> let's see what he has to say. Most of his writings are about economic things in daily living and the use of our resources. And I explain a little bit more about this in the very first of this series. I'll put a link to it in the description box. When a tailor makes and sells a garment, only one service is provided, that of putting clothes on a body. The same is true of a cobbler making and selling a pair of shoes. The only service in this case is to put shoes on the feet. Of course, it's obvious that this was a much less sophisticated uh, system of production. This is way before the Industrial Revolution and oh, even farther before our current technological way of doing things. So a suit or an article of clothing is made one at a time by an individual person and same with a pair of shoes and any other item. So it's slower simpler. Let's see what else he says. When a person makes a gift to another person of money or some ob object, then a double service is performed. And now we're getting into uh, something a little more spiritual. First, the receiver derives a material benefit from the gift. But second, the giver receives a spiritual benefit because this act of generosity will have brought a blessing to his soul. And there can even be a third service. If the receiver is filled with humble gratitude, that will be a blessing to the receiver's soul. Imagine a society, imagine a society in which no one sold anything, but everyone shared freely their skills and wealth. Then every action in that society would bring not only material benefits, but spiritual benefits also. Since societies already exist in miniature, families operate in this way. How wonderful it would be if villages and towns could become like large families. Then heaven would come down to earth. Now in the uh, very beginnings of Christianity, the book of Acts says that the small Christian communities came together and um, put all their resources together and um, just shared in this way. I'm thinking that with the huge population on the earth today, especially in cities, that this dream of his is only feasible on a very small scale. Uh, within groups of people forming a community, they're certainly possible. And some cities and towns in the U.S. Uh, have occasionally tried to come up with a kind of barter system for skills instead of using the U.S. dollar. I'm not sure that it is feasible at all on a large scale, but the idea is that it would make society better if we were more open to being generous and sharing with our skills and resources. And I certainly think we can take that idea to heart and do our best to implement it in our own lives. And with each person doing that, it will make our society a better place. I hope you'll join with me next time when we will go on to number 
a 16. See what he has to say. Thanks for being here.